Hi everybody. New management. Oh hi. A city builder, an empire builder, a nation builder, an army builder, a game known only as Cossacks 3. Hello again there, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to Cossacks 3, a game that I recently rediscovered with all the uh, hubbub going on around the release of Age of Empires 4. It made me think about all the games from long ago that I really enjoyed. This one being out back in 2016 and Age of Empires coming out last year and it made me think of other games like Rise of Nations and all these other cool little like mini city builders where of course you build things like farms and hospitals and churches and houses and then eventually build an army to take over the world and navies and other things like this. And that game has it all. This one has it all. All those games have it all. And it's awesome. Well, this brings you back to like the uh, 17 and 1800s, even the 1600s and before, with all sorts of different nations. Today, we're fighting against the Swedes' mortal enemies, the Danish. Yes, it is Lego versus Ikea in this uh, uh, just amazing city builder and empire builder and army builder. It's all good stuff, man. The fact that you can build armies and uh, have navies fight it out and land troops is always fun in these types of games, including Anno 1800 and many more. Now, long ago on the channel, we had massive battles of like 10,000 uh, archers versus 1,000 musketeers or 10,000 horsemen versus, I don't know, 10,000 musketeers or whatnot. It's always cool to take gunpowder versus something that's not, not gunpowder and see how it works. But today, we're having ourselves a regular skirmish. This game has a massive campaign too, by the way. When I checked it out back in 2016, I didn't even know where to start covering everything. Like, for example, well, the Swedes and the French and... Uh, Saxony and uh, different types of um, uh, nation states and other things like that all over, uh, like for example, uh, no longer existing empires, Holy Roman Empire, Muscovy, all these other places and, and historical um, figures are present in the game and that's really cool to me. So. I love it. We're going to go ahead and continue to build our army here. So remember, one like equals one luck for this awesome, awesome army that's going to rage across what should be like lowlands or like mountains and stuff. There should be like light mountains in front of us. And uh, as we come out of Sweden down into Denmark. Sorry, Danes. I love you. But I love the Swedes too. But that, that black licorice just hits different, bro. It's, it's good. I hated it. I hated it. And now it's grown on me. So now I'm here for the Swedes. Let's go ahead and build ourselves some... Um, some peasants then so that way we can go ahead and start building our army and we'll go ahead and uh well i guess first we got to have an army of our economy all of our peasants now bringing things back like stone and we're going to start growing uh, some wonderful crops and such and then of course doing some upgrades too that's always what these games are about so let's upgrade and we'll try to get our troops deployed let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get ourselves oh look at that we got towers and walls to build too my goodness marketplaces storehouses and more let's do some housing because we're going to start pumping out troops like crazy get that ikea furniture stacked in there my man there we go excellent keep pumping out the troops in this case all of these awesome peasants let's get a blacksmith down so he can give us upgrades let's go ahead and put them over here there we go and we'll get some more people inside the what i could only imagine to be maybe copper mines coal mines eventually we'll find iron ore that could be just uh, iron ore as well. I don't know. They they look to be the same material. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's get the troops pumping. Now we can build some massive walls here too. That's going to take some stone, to which we have quite a bit. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit first, and we'll see if we can build our wall around this way. Oh, little baby. Little Swedish baby. All right, let's see if we can get some more upgrades going too. We'll get a cathedral going. Oh, yeah. Town's going to look nice, brother. Look at the buildings. Looking good, man. 2016, not looking bad. I'm glad that eventually Age of Empires 4 came around. I thought that game was absolutely fantastic. But I think there's a lot more nations that need to be added to that one. And I also think that this game could definitely use a sequel. Cossacks 4 looking like Age of Empires 4, but also being its own thing at the same time would be fantastic. You can only really differentiate real-time strategy games only so far from each other before they become almost unlearnable or whatnot. Of course, having all the resources on the screen, a mini-map, all these things are familiar to real-time strategy games, and this one's got them all. all right, we got some more troops pouring out of there. Let's go ahead and get ready to uh, build some more 
defensive towers. I guess this will set up our initial perimeter. We'll connect all these buildings with walls. And then we'll continue to cut down wood, which it looks like we're going to need more of that. And we got to get people in these mines. Let's go ahead and keep pumping out the troops. What do we got here? Uh, idle peasants. We got two. All right, let's get those guys in there. Oh, I love how it showed a little fruit. Uh, flute. Fruit. <laughs> a little flute guy. As if he's, like, signaling to everybody. Yes, that's how Swedes know that it's going down. When they when they hear a whistle, you'll hear them perk up like a dog. And be like, oh, I gotta go. It's like the bat signal, you know? Sweden has is, is been threatened. I must leave. No, don't leave me. I'm sorry, I must. All right, let's go ahead and continue to build. All right, looks like we can build ourselves a uh, artillery depot, academy, stable. So that's obviously going to be um, infantry and stuff like that coming out of there. The blacksmith needs to get built, so let's do that. Pumping out the troops, baby. I know these are just peasants, but hey, you got to start somewhere. And this is our army of workers that will get everything done. Yeah, now we have our blacksmith. Let's go ahead and start building our 17th century barracks. Damn, that looks really cool. All right, let's watch it get constructed. All right, Blacksmith, go ahead and start manufacturing agricultural equipment so we can get upgrades for all of our wonderful... Well, we're mining a different type of gold over here, I suppose, huh? That golden, golden wheat. How tasty. All right, we're building towers. Good, good, good. All right, the Danish have got to be, I'm assuming, somewhere down here in the corner. So we got to go find them very soon. Soon. Look at that. that the building construction's phenomenal. I think too many games, far too often, don't really even bother like making animations for building their buildings. Now this one doesn't really have animations, but I like seeing all the sequences of all the different scaffolding going up and the framework. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves some musketeers. Now, usually you only need about three musketeers, but this we're gonna go with more. All right, we're very low on food. The Swedes are hungry. Let's make some more um, mills and let's get some more food going. Oh, there's gold back there, nice. We build ourselves a marketplace and probably buy some extra food. Let's build our marketplace over here. Excellent. And let's get mining gold so we can get some money. We also have an academy so we can get more upgrades. More things for the troops there. We also have a barracks and a... What's this, a diplomatic center? Oh, we don't need to be that. Ah, here come the Swedes. No voice acting for them, but I can forgive that. They don't really have a budget for 45 different countries or whatever numbers in here. It's not 45, it's nowhere near that, but you know, it's a good amount. All right, let's keep building those buildings, boys. Let's get going. Excellent. Got the mill going up there. Now, I'm not sure if, like, having area around it matters. I don't know if you have to, like, you know, build it to where it can, like, build a full functioning, uh, you know, like, wheat farm like this. But it looks like the wheat field's ready to harvest finally after growing for... Hey, get to work. What the hell are you doing? Probably that whole food thing. Damn it. Troops need food. A farmer has fallen at your state. Oh no. Where did he where did he fall? Alright, let's go ahead and make some more troops. Alright, I fixed it, I fixed it. Alright, let's buy some food. Alright. Did I buy it? I oh how the hell does trading work here? Uh food. They demand gold. There you go. Trade. Exchange resources. Mine has been constructed. Uh, how do I buy? Can I just like buy a bunch of it? Uh, is there is there a button I'm supposed to click? You got plus ten, plus a hundred, plus a thousand, plus ten thousand, and then the exchange for the resources. Maybe a trader needs to come around? Wait, is it the other way around? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, there. At least we got some food now. All right, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my first day. I didn't, I haven't played this in a long time. Forgive me. Dude, that, that music, bro, it just hits different. Okay, let's get some more mines built. Oh, here comes the troops. All right, let's build another 15. Start cutting down some trees. Now, what I really like about this game is how large you can make some of your uh, settlements and stuff. It really feels like there's a lot less population cap in this game than usual. 
Uh, I think we actually have a, a 300 limit. Actually, that might even be the same as uh, Age of Empires, but it, hel it certainly feels a hell of a lot bigger. And also, uh, of course, with like Age of Empires 4, um, you couldn't increase it. But in this game, I think there's ways to cheat to where I visibly have had like 10,000 troops on the screen, folks. It's, it's crazy. Looks like I canceled the construction there. Maybe. All right, we got people bringing back wood. We got people bringing stone. We got people farming. Get at it, boys. Get some more people. Uh... There we go, deployed out into the field. All right, let's go find the Danish, shall we? Let's send out a little Swedish scout party. Just a, just a little, just a little bit of scouting. We can have a priest go with. Thank Jesus. All right, we'll send three of those guys. All right, sir, I need you to finish that tower for the Danish retaliation. That may come our way. Looks like we can also maybe go through the trees. I think as we're in Age of Empires, you're not able to. Well, 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 the Danish. Oh, this is going to be an easy win for us. They brought pikemen to a gun battle. Erect. Uh, yeah, come, come at us, bro. Oh, boy. How the hell are bullets to the face not killing them? Damn you, Denmark! Oh, no, they killed the priest. What the hell are you doing? Uh-oh, we these towers ready. Damn you, Denmark! You've hindered me for the last time. All right, quickly. Lead them into circles. Oh boy. Wow, I thought, I totally thought the pikemen were gonna get clapped. Oh yeah, hell, hell yeah, get wrecked. Get him, boys. Oh yeah. Now, now we're shooting from the trees. Why right, keep pumping out those troops? Why right, let's cut down some more trees. Let's get that army going. Build me another barracks, boys. I need double the troops. Let's go. I need more money. Get me the money. All right, keep going, boys. All right, 50? Jeez, I can't believe how many troops we have to recruit. Shoot that guy. There we go. I took like three or four shots to take out down the drummer. What the hell? Bro. All right. I think we have to... Uh, we're going to have to call in uh, Ola England now. It's the only way. I met him. It. He'll be cool with it. He doesn't have a problem with that. Okay, more gold. Let's go for it. Well, well, Denmark, you... Well, they actually lost this round. I mean, we did kill all their troops as they tried to invade, so, I mean, you know. That kind of is a good thing for us. All right, boys, build that tower. All right, we got to get this tower built here. How are we doing at the other towers? Wow, there's like wagons and stuff nearby. Cool, you can see stone being delivered. Nice. All right, we have to do this for the Lion of the North. You know who I'm talking about. All right, we're gathering a lot of food. Good. Give me more. Okay, we're getting a little bit of money. Let's cut cut back on the troops. Just a little bit. There we go. And get me another barracks at 2,500. What can I sell? We got quite a bit of coal. I'm supplying coal. I would like to 
trade that for gold. Now we got money coming in. I guess it's not immediate. It takes a while. Maybe. I have no idea. I'm going to just try to keep 10 troops being trained. Ooh, stables. Or we could build the academy. Hmm. Well, let's make sure we get this tower complete. We got to make sure we can withstand the second Danish wave. If I know anything about Danes, and I do, it's that they come in more than one waves. Waves? Yeah. That's, yeah. Everybody knows that. It's like Legos, right? If you step on one, you know there's another one waiting around somewhere. Oh, yeah. Alright, what do we got? Stone is okay. Ah, you can see how many people you've got on each resource. That's what the number is next to it. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Build that tower. Let's go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder if we can put troops in these towers. The Danish will be back, and their army will be bigger than ever. Gather round, boys. There we go. Right, let's get a little bit more priestage in there. A little bit more on the, on the priestage. Let's build the second barracks. Get those trees out of the way. Hey, Asfaria. Give me some 25 more peasants. Let's go. Oh, here it comes. Conduct a physical training plus one defense. More coal. Excellent. Here they are again, the Danes. Well, 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 Denmark. Welcome back. Get wrecked! Oh boy. Split him in two. Yeah! Much better that time. Okay, let's get back together. Good job, everybody. Alright, let's increase that defense again. And the attack. Okay. Get everybody we can on construction. Whew. I'd like to get some cannons. Plus two defense. Go for it. Give me all those upgrades, baby. Uh-oh. I think we're still building some of the towers. I hope so. All right, let's go. First army, go. Oh, only so many people can be on construction? I see. Alright, let's build the Great Wall of Swadia. There we go, let's see how that works. Alright, so now we've got, let's see, lots of wood coming in. We need more gold. keep getting these upgrades. I want to go... Dude, I gotta go for the musketeers, bro. Alright, get those troops out there. Alright, you boys. I need an academy. Uh-oh, they're back. Oh, damn. Did that tower fire a cannon? job, boys. 
can't believe how many hits they can take. Give me more upgrades. Oh, now we can build an army of 450. The numbers grow. One barracks to do the upgrades, another barracks to build the troops. What do we got for idle? Lots of idle workers. Jeez. All right, let's uh, go for more food production, please. And more wood production, please. I have an idea. We're going to try to sell more wood if I can figure out how to do it, I think. All right, I would like to sell all the wood. Almost all of our wood. Out of hell with it. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Bankruptcy. All right. Let's get 30 troops up. Let's go. My academy is being built. I demand cannons. I cannot, cannot wait for that. Yes. I cannot wait. Ooh. Here they come, boys. All the troops. I want to be able to connect the walls to the towers. I don't know if we can do that. Maybe we have to build the towers behind the walls or maybe in front, but they should be able to connect. That'd look cool. Either way, every game's different. Oh, damn, the song. Hitting different. Forge new types of broadswords. Cavalry attack, mounted recruitment speed. Hell no, bro. I want that massive land army. Ooh. Drummers and officers. Excellent. Let's get those into the ranks. There we go. Give me another 25 troops. Excellent. The academy's up. Give me rifled barrels. Good. 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 Soon. Ah, excellent. The towers are starting to pop off. Excellent. Food is going down. Let's continue to uh, harvest. Give me more workers on the farm fields. Excellent. Give me more production of wood. I want more troops. The big invasion. Bi I mean, the uh, liberation. Yes. The liberation of Denmark shall begin. Yes. We must bring peace and freedom and democracy. Now, I'm marked as Cossack here, but that's just the profile name. It looks like we're pretty close to being equal with the Danes, and they must have a ton of defenses. Defenses are going to be strong. They're going to have some strong defenses. Let's build our cannoneer, our artillery shop. Get it going, boys. I need my artillery. Bum, 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 bum. All right, the army grows. Oh, dude, look at this. We got we got an army. It's bopping. Actually, let me cancel these guys. From Actually, is there a way to do it on mass? Yeah, just hold shift. Just hold shift. Screaming at my screen. All right, 35 it is. Good. Give me more upgrades. I like how it's not necessarily like the troops are getting upgraded. They're more like just training, which is making them better because they're training. Not, not that something magical is happening, but that we're conducting exercises, which are good. You don't want to pull a hamstring out on the field. Ooh, baby, look at that. It's growing. Damn. Now, I've realized recently that, um, what is it? Ul Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, whatever we played many years ago around this time, also is coming out soon, too, and or is out. I'm excited for that one, too, making up our own battles. What's going on, Denmark? Where are you going? Huh. They seem to not be wanting to, don't want to, don't want to fight Sweden. I know you have the high ground, but. All right, so, oh, they're kind of trying to lead me into a trap. Clever Denmark.
All right, are we ready? Sweden's first offensive. Hold the line, boys. Stay on ground. Line up again. Let's go. Okay, that's what we need to do. Nobody moves anymore. Oh, look at the troops. Woo, let's go up to 30. There we go. All right, my cannons are ready. Well, almost. Soon. Any idle workers? Hell yeah, there is. Get your asses to work. Let's go. Good. The cannons are ready. Howitzers. Let's see. Effective against fortification and massed infantry. There we go. Give me two howitzers, two cannons. Wow, look at that. We can build the uh, multi-barreled cannon, too. That gives us, like, 360 degree of fire. Sweet. Wow, this music is a little excited. Hold on, fall back. Let's go into the clearing. Danish infantry approaching to sacrifice themselves. Excellent. We appreciate that, Denmark. Oh, think it twice. Okay. All right, let's attack. Go. This will be our first army moving into position. We'll bring the cannons up later. They're building. It's going to take a while. I want to see them in action. Still need more gold. And I think we can capture a deposit out here. Ours now. Alright, boys. Mark this as Army 1. Good. Everybody selected. Denmark, where are you going? You leading me into a trap? Yeah? Is that what you're doing, Denmark? Here we go. Damn. I don't think we lost a dude. Maybe? Maybe we did? Is that a guy? No, that's just dirt. Okay. Well, I think we're unstoppable now. It is time to make Gustav Adolphus proud. Ooh, give me more firepower. More. Where's my cannon? There it is. My howitzer is ready. Excellent. Oh, a unit that rolls without, like, horses or troops pushing it? Oh. Well, Denmark, I see we meet again. Are you sure? I got Abba with me. You don't want to mess with me, do you? Oh, that's what I thought. That's right. Who's the dancing queen 17? Whatever now. What I thought. Denmark, are you leading me into... Yes, you are. Hold the line. Reposition. They're going to have to come around either side of this rock. That'll split their forces. And all of our troops will be able to fire. Well, let them have it, boys. Wow. I think they got a little too close. I could almost make out their hats. Whoa. Well, we got a reserve infantry ready to go. All right, let's bring everybody up for the big old crazy billion dollar attack. At least that's how much money I probably wasted. All right, let's continue our upgrades. What else do we got? Develop mining. Woodworking tools. Ooh, field capacity increase. Let's go with that. That'll give us more food. We could trade that. I could figure out how to do it. Oh, well. Now. Uh-oh. Hi, Denmark. Again, you roll on to me. 
They seem to only like to sacrifice their troops in small numbers. Go figure. Let's bring up 50 new troops per barracks. There we go. Denmark is really regretting that initial attack, I think. I wanted to do things peacefully. In fact, I, I was going to build the diplomatic center. Yep, here we go. But it's diplomatic, like how the United States has the, uh, you know, the, the Department of Defense. Yeah. Oh boy, here they come. Places, people. Okay, uh, Jonas. Oh, Bjorn. Okay, you guys are out of place. Don't let it happen again. All right, reinforcements are marching towards us, but let's go ahead and march towards Copenhagen. And we'll make that uh, Gothenburg Part 2, the sequel. Man, it's kind of hard to advance through this mountainous terrain here. I, I don't want to fight in the mountains. They have the high ground, but... Operation Sir Strumming begins. Hey, Asaria! Springer! Go, go! Now, they've got to be over here somewhere. Imagine if they faked me out the whole time and they just advanced from, like, the south. It'd be hilarious. Oh, boy. What is that? What is that? Ah, the Danish feel threatened in their natural habitat. Reloading. All right. Continue the advance. We're close. Reinforcements are making another army. Wow. Ah, finally. Let's see. Hi, everybody. New management. Oh, hi. Wow. Look at this dude just... Wow. was bad for them. Wait, I lost a mill. Wait, that's not me. That's not me. Get him, boys. A little payback for Eurovision. What? Get him, boys! Yeah! 
All right, get him. <laughs> All right, keep pushing. Second wave. A little clean up. Ah. Feels good, man. All right, anybody else? Oh, sir? Uh, prepare the cannon. That priest is trying to do something. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, 5,000 degrees to the left. I was way off. Denmark, do you want to surrender yet? Is it over? Please. There's got to be like one more Danish guy out there somewhere. Sir? Oh, there he is. <laughs> they brought a horse back. Denmark, I, I think we're good now, right? I, I, I think we're good. Yeah. Three. Excellent. Folks, that is it for Cossacks 3, but there is a massive campaign for this game with all sorts of different options with, like, campaigns within campaigns of, like, you know, like, I don't know, 20 or so missions here and then, like, 5 to 20 within each of those separate things. And, of course, Random Battles 2, which we just played, and, of course, Multiplayer 2 with or against friends and lots of cool DLC that came out long ago. Hey, old doesn't mean bad, and I'd say any game from like less than maybe five or six years ago is still pretty damn gold and pretty damn solid. And Cossack 3 is definitely one of those. Lots of fun to be had on this one if you want to pick it up. I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the gifted memberships during all the live streams and all of our wonderful and awesome uh, premiere modes. It's been cool to have everybody hang out in the chat. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thanks for being awesome down below in the comments section. And I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, day, weekend, or what have you. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.